Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the products that I received in the August 2018 BoxyCharm box. So I just recently did a haul where you guys seen I was super excited to get the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette, which has six amazing, vibrant, beautiful colors. So today I'm going to be creating a look with this palette, but I also wanted to talk to you guys about how I felt about some of the products in the box. But first things first, I'm going to put some foundation, concealer, and some other stuff on this face because... <laughs> So for foundation today, I'm going to be using this foundation from GIS Cosmetics. Um, this is in the shade C3 Yellow Warm, and I am in love with this foundation. It has really good coverage. A little bit goes a long way, and I feel like it has really good staying power. So I'm just going to be going in with my makeup sponge and applying this all over the face, and then I'm going to dab it in and blend it and all of that fun stuff. To cover some random spots on my skin, I'm going to be using my GIS Cosmetics Concealer and this is in C2 Warm Yellow. This also has really good coverage and I love using it to cover up little things that need to be covered. It blends well, it stays put well, and it covers good. For under eye concealer, I'm just going to be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. So if you're looking for a shade that matches your eyebrows and maybe your eyebrows look like mine, this shade might be perfect for you. Since I am going to be using some products from the BoxyCharm box, I'm going to go ahead and use a blush that I got from a previous BoxyCharm box, and this is from the brand Note, and this blush is called Desert Rose. So now that I am finished doing my face, I'm going to go ahead and get into the products. This is kind of going to be like a review, but I'm also going to be using some of these products. So first off, I want to talk about the Wonder Beauty Under Eye Patches. So the BoxyCharm box came with three of these, and I've only used one. I thought they were pretty interesting. They are gold foil under eye masks, so they look pretty cool. I didn't notice a huge difference after one time of using them, but I don't think you're supposed to notice a huge difference after one time of using them. So I am going to go ahead and use um, the rest of these just because they supposedly have a lot of good benefits for your under eyes. They have aloe leaf extract in them and lavender oil which offer a cooling effect while soothing and calming your under eye area and it's supposed to deliver intense hydration to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, which I feel like I need. Um, so overall, these were okay. I do like the fact that they stayed on my skin really well because I have a problem with most under eye masks. They kind of like to slide, but these stayed put perfectly. I did use the almond oil cuticle oil on my nails and this stuff is absolutely amazing. First of all, almond oil is just amazing in general. I actually am on my third bottle of almond oil. I got this from the company Simply Earth, which is an essential oil company. I love to use it on my skin, on my hair, on my nails, my toenails, you know, my cuticles, my anywhere on my face. I like to put it in my bath water. It's just an excellent moisturizer and it has so many benefits. So this little product right here was pretty interesting. Um, it made my nails, it made my cuticles and my nail bed and just around my nails feel super silky and it felt like that for days. I actually only used it on one hand, my left hand and not my right, and for days I just kept like obsessively feeling my nails. I was like, my nails feel so good. So this product is pretty cool. Even if you're not into, you know, your nail beds or cuticles. It's an age-defying nail treatment. It has anti-aging benefits. It repairs, fortifies, primes, and protects your nails. 
So overall, I really like this product. I did try on the Smashbox lip color, and even though I think it is a beautiful color, it's not necessarily a color that I would use. I'm more into pinks and nudes, but this color overall is a beautiful color. I got the shade Spectacle. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but usually whenever you're getting a BoxyCharm box, I think you can choose maybe the color or if you even want the product or not, but seeing as I've just been being sent these BoxyCharm boxes, they just randomly decided to send me this one. It is a beautiful color. The formula feels really nice, but it's just kind of not my color, I guess. I've yet to use the House of Lashes eyelashes, but I think I'm going to be applying them today. They kind of, in my opinion, for me, I feel like they're way too long and too full. I'm kind of a gimme wispy kind of gal. These lashes look super dramatic, but I'm gonna go ahead and try them on anyway, just see how I feel about them. So now going into the eyeshadow palette. I used this for the first time the other day. I actually swatched every shade on my arm and they are absolutely beautiful. They are very pigmented. They are gorgeous, they're easy to blend, and they show up just as beautiful as you see them in this palette. Now the first time I used it, I did a rainbow look, but today I'm going to be doing something a little different because I'm not in the mood for rainbows and sunshine. Okay. So I'm just gonna be going in with a flat brush here and I'm going to pick up the first color right here, which is It's a Party. To me, in my opinion, it looks like a neon green, yellow, inside the palette, but once it's applied, it looks a little more yellow than green to me, in my opinion. So as you can see, I'm just lightly patting this on my lower lid, and I'm not having to add too much of the product because, like I said, it's very pigmented, so I don't need to pick up too much of it. So I'm not going into my inner corner with this product because I would rather put a lighter shade there, but I'm just putting this It's a Party shade right on my lower lid. And you can see it is absolutely beautiful. So for my crease, I'm going to go in with the Bottoms Up shade, which is on the bottom row, and this is the hot pink color. The one thing that sets this hot pink color apart from the rest is it does have some little glitter particles in there which seem to be wanting to bounce around on my palette. I am not a huge fan of glitter, but this color is gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold a towel here under my eye just in case any glitter decides to pop out and go everywhere. And I'm just going to lightly apply this and my outer corner here and lightly sweep it over into my crease. Now that I've applied that, I'm going to lightly blend it out with the same brush. And I'm going to repeat the same steps on my other eye. While blending this out, I am lightly pulling it over but not completely over, just somewhat over, not all the way into my inner corner there, just a little bit. So I'm going to wipe off my brush here a little bit, get some of that product off so I can just blend it without worrying about putting extra product everywhere. So I'm just picking up a light shade here from my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I'm just going to apply that in my inner corner there. Next, I'm going in with this Damage Control shade, and I'm going to apply it on my bottom lash line. Now, I didn't pull that blue all the way in my inner corner because I wanted to go back in with a little bit of that yellow and pop it there on the bottom corner of my inner lash line there. 
I'm going to line my inner waterline with this gorgeous gold shade from GIS Cosmetics. This is called Gold Mine. I've never had an eyeliner show up so perfectly in my waterline. Now y'all know it's hard for me to do any kind of makeup look without winged liner, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some winged liner here. The liner I'm going to be using is from Chella, and this is called their eyeliner pen, and it's in the shade black. Now that I am done with my winged liner, I'm gonna go ahead and apply these lashes from House of Lashes. I have a full tutorial on how to apply false lashes. If you're interested in watching, I will link it down below. I definitely think these are going to be too full and too long for my liking. That doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with these lashes. You might like that kind of look. I'm just not really into it. While my lashes are drying on my eye, I'm gonna go ahead and with some highlighter. The highlighter I'm gonna be using today is from Gerard Cosmetics and this is in the shade Bridget. I'm also gonna go ahead and apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Base. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my GIS Cosmetics Intense Lash Mascara. I also applied some of my mascara from Deck of Scarlet just to thicken up those bottom lashes a little bit. So normally when I put false lashes on, I like to um, add some mascara to blend them, but I feel like if I put mascara on, it's going to intensify these lashes way too much, and I'm not really going for that look right now. But I am gonna go in with this little Master Precise Skinny Gel Liner. This is from Maybelline and I love to use it to fill in any gaps that I may have missed and to line my upper waterline. It's super skinny and perfect for things like this. The last product that came in the box was this Bang Beauty eyeliner and they sent me the shade brown. It's a gel liner. I mentioned in my unboxing video that I would try to use this on my brows and even though it actually matched my eyebrows perfectly, it was horrible as a brow product. It wiped off pretty quickly. So I didn't like it for that, but someone else had suggested um, that this gel liner actually looked really nice smudged on the bottom lash line. So I did that yesterday and I really liked it for that. I would not use this as an eyeliner because I love black liquid liner. But this product looked pretty good smudged on my bottom lash line. So I am going to go ahead and try on the Smashbox lipstick for you guys, even though I would not wear this color with this look. But I will give you an idea of what it looks like. It's pretty, but it doesn't match this look in my opinion. Not even sure if it matches me. So instead, I'm going to go in with my Gerard Cosmetics. This is the Light Up Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Fiji. And seeing as I'm wearing hot pink on my lids, I think this hot pink shade would look perfect with this look. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. And voila, I am done with this look. So I know I used a lot of products in this video, but I mainly wanted to show you um, the products that I had got from the BoxyCharm box for the month of August. Overall, I actually think the lashes aren't that bad. So if you're actually into a really big full lash, those lashes would be perfect for you. The style is called Temptress. And I know if I was to add mascara, they would be even more like Bam, but I really wasn't going for a bam lash today, but they are pretty cute, I would say. So this is my finished look. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a thumbs up. Turn your notifications on when you subscribe to my channel so that you'll always be notified when I upload a new video. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.